hi all in this lecture we'll continue working on our data model so if i log into my Simaki xtm instance and go to application builder i can see we have got customer data model which we created in our last video so if i click on customer data model and go to navi and go to entities on our model design we can see that we have got customer entity which is a fuzzy entity now let's create a complex type so I'll right click on complex types and select add complex type. I'll give it a name which would be effective dates. And if you see label has already been populated. This is a user friendly name and this is an internal name. If I click finish, then I have to add attributes to this complex type. If you remember complex type is collection of bunch of attributes. So if I click on definition attributes and if I click add definition attribute, I'll give it a name as start date. As the name suggests, it will be of date data type. And I'll click finish. Before I hit finish, I wanted to talk about this documentation. So you will see this documentation available in most of the components in Simaki when you are building your data model. So this documentation is like business glossary. You can have um, a definition of your attribute here or your data model, which would be common or consistent across your enterprise. And this would be business users uh, friendly in terms of layman language. So it would be visible to business users if they want to. So I'll hit finish. I'll create another attribute here, which would be named end date change the type to date and hit finish I'll save my complex type now let's create list of values if I right click here and add list of values I'll give it a name of gender I click finish now if you see here, we can import images or we can use images which are available in Simaki. Uh, there are a few images which comes out of the box. Or if you want, you can actually import your own list of images in this Simaki layer and then use those as well if you want. So I hit cancel. You can give an error message as well if there is a null value. Scrolling down will add now values to this section. So if I click on add value, I'll say mail. Again, you can add decent descriptions and click finish. If I click again add value, I'll say female and then hit finish. So now we have got list of values as well. We'll scroll up and save this. If you see, we have got complex types, effective dates, and list of values as well. So let's go back to our entities and double click on customer. If you see, you can have multiple tabs or different components open at the top. So I'll close gender and effective dates. So now we are at customer entity. Now, in case you want to change or alter this entity, if you see this section which says define, if you click on this icon, drop down then you can alter your entity if you want to change the name of your entity or physical column or primary keys etc so if i click on alter entity it gives me this modify entity uh, section where i can change those things which i wanted to so if i click next here again i can change the primary key etc or the sequence or uuid all those kind of things so i'll cancel this because we are happy with the configuration now if i go to attributes we we have created uh, four attributes so if i click on first name and scroll down again this documentation is for the business user they would be able to see this and description is for designers and developers so if i scroll down here as we have checked it as mandatory means in case if the user doesn't provide this or source system is not providing this, we can have an error message as well to show them. So you can say first name cannot be
be blank something like that and if we scroll down further this searchable attribute which is checked means the end user can search on this column once the application is deployed so as we have added uh, the error message we have to save the changes and then coming back to customer entity I'll go back to attributes because I need to add few more attributes here let's add a simple attribute and call it as mobile now I'll keep mobile as string because sometimes people put plus or sometimes they put zero zero um, for the country codes so let's keep it a string so that it can cater for all those uh, scenarios and it is not mandatory field I'll go with the default settings and click finish and I'll add one more attribute and call it as email again going with the basic settings and click finish now I will save this customer entity now let's create another uh, entity but that would be basic so if I go to entities in model design right click add entity let's give it name country if you see because of autofill was checked all these attributes were populated extends entity we still don't have any entity uh, from which we want to extend this and I'll keep it as basic I'll go to next for this entity which is a basic entity I would like to change the name of the primary key so I would mark it as country ISO 3 because we would be using ISO 3 code for countries uh, as the primary key for this entity and we would mark it as manual and as it is um, a string we would change the data type as well to string so now we are good we will hit finish now our entity has been created and we will save it if you see there is a difference in the icon for a fuzzy entity as well as uh, a basic entity so this is also a way to identify which one is fuzzy entity or which one is basic or id matched entity so we'll add few more attributes in country i'll add simple attribute and give it a name of country iso 2 because we have got iso 2 as well as iso 3 characters um, if you see I can't use special characters here it has to be only alphanumeric so I'll get rid of it I put ISO 2 and it will also be a string and I'll hit finish so now we have got ISO 3 as primary key ISO 2 code as an attribute now I will add country name leave it with default settings and hit finish now we'll add a complex attribute to this which we created so let's add complex attribute and give it date or give it a name of effective dates now you have to select the complex type which you have created before in the drop down we only have one so let's select that and then click finish save it so this country entity would be like our reference data so we will upload a static list of countries with iso 3 iso 2 their names and effective dates which would mark you know the start and end date uh, of every data item in country entity so now we have got two entities country which is a basic entity and customer which is a fuzzy entity Thank you.